Hi everyone, Erin here, and I'm happy to join you for this episode of Anchored. Have you ever noticed how certain words, topics, or concepts seem to pop up repeatedly in your life? Maybe it's in your reading, studying, or conversations. For me, humility has been one of those recurring themes. It is such a key characteristic that provides a foundation for our lives as Christians. As the leader of our global outreach ministry, I see this every time we prepare teams to serve with our global partners. In our training, humility comes up over and over again because it's the basis for effective service. When we enter another culture, we need the humility to recognize that our way isn't always the best. This mindset opens up the door to learning from others and builds mutual respect, which is essential for genuine partnership. Serving others also means humbling ourselves, putting others' needs before our own. This lesson on humility isn't just important for those preparing for mission work. It's crucial for all of us, especially in a culture where pride is so rampant. We see it everywhere, in leaders, executives, politicians, and even in ourselves. Whether we realize it or not, pride can subtly creep into our own lives, shaping how we interact with others and how we see ourselves. In our passage this week from Daniel 4, King Nebuchadnezzar was a ruler full of pride who had elevated himself to the level of God. In response, God taught him a lesson in humility in a rather dramatic way. The king was brought down to live like an animal until he acknowledged God's sovereignty. It's almost like God took him down a notch, and once he learned humility, he was restored both physically and to his position as king. As Christians, we have the ultimate example of humility in Jesus. Philippians 2 reminds us that Jesus humbled himself by taking on human likeness and becoming obedient to the point of death on a cross. Paul challenges us in verse 5 to adopt the same attitude as that of Christ Jesus. If we want to grow in Christ-likeness, humility is key. It's the foundation for so many other aspects of our spiritual formation. In our daily lives, adopting Christ's humility could look like listening more, being quick to serve, or giving up the need to always be right. Let's embrace the lesson of humility before it embraces us and strive to look more and more like Jesus each day.